Now let's create a polyester bellows. This is mainly used to throw air in constant in a particular direction. So you will see here we have three types of bellows in different form. We will make one form of bellows and then we will uh, twist or deform into different shapes with the help of deformation feature in SOLIDWORKS. Okay. All dimensions are in millimeter bellow thickness 0.2 mm. Now you will see the top length 100 millimeter diameter outer diameter 10 millimeter inner 9.6 means wall thickness going to be 0.2 millimeter. Now here see these shapes 10 millimeter 4 millimeter the typical dimension between these two. Okay, the radius R1 10 millimeter from here. So let's create first below. So right plane sketch activate line tool press escape key smart dimension make length 100 millimeter now exit and go to feature i want to add material in so here one feature called swift boss base now here in path profile i am going to choose circular profile so that i can directly apply diameter here i am not going to choose any other geometry the path already selected say okay right plane sketch activate circle let's add this draw a circle on this upper line dimension 10 millimeter and radius 1 millimeter means diameter 2 millimeter okay and uh, now let me create center line go to feature now i want to add this body in circular way so th there is a one option called revolve boss base now let's see by default system took the center line as the axis of revolution and here apply angle 360 merge body okay linear pattern now for direction i am going to select this face now here you have to choose reference plane I am going to select this plane. See? Now, the distance from this reference plane 10 millimeter. Reverse. 10 millimeter from here to here. Okay. Now, here choose centroid. Now, gap between two. See, set spacing. Spacing between two circles 4 millimeter. Now, here feature already selected by default say okay see now let's apply shell 0.2 millimeter wall thickness so i'm going to select one end and second end you can show preview say okay now let me select right plane section view see cancel now with the help of this i am going to deform this same body in with the same length see the length 100 millimeter distance from here to here 10 millimeter okay then the second shape you will see the arc length this total length 100 millimeter we will see how we can do this 45 20 so and radius r15 let's see now either you can deform this body or create multiple bodies and uh, deform those bodies so i'm going to create two more bodies okay so go to direct editing copy and bodies feature now select the body now here make it copy and make two more bodies say okay okay now you will see here three bodies first body second body third body now Let's make the first sketch show. Now right plane sketch. Now I want to create one sketch. Draw one path. Now here choose three point arc. Press escape key. Now let's smart dimension. Select 
distance from here to here and select this one. Now the length of C, select both the end point and select the arc. It will show you arc length, 100 millimeter. Now select this point, hold shift key and select this top point. Okay, let me again. Hold shift key, select top and line 10. Okay, now still drawing not constraint, so make one relation. Now I am going to make same point so that we will start in same. Now select, select both point vertical and define one distance between two because this is a 35 okay exit now let's draw second right plane sketch again I am going to draw same sketch exit smart dimension 20 millimeter radius 15 and let me select these two Okay, cancel and let me define angle. Forty five. Okay. Now let me select one more relation. Select this point and this point in one line. Vertical. Fine. Again, if you define the distance, then it will be better. Sixty, or let's make more. So make it more gap. Seventy. That's fine. Now I want to make the total length hundred millimeter. First, let me select these two lines. Make it equal. Still, I don't know how much the length. If you select the all, now at bottom you will see one twenty-seven. So it's difficult. So right click select chain again right click and here go to sketch tool and here select make path say ok now select path already created if I am going to select see this is going to select whole see here path length dimension path length dimension activate driving and from here you can define 100 enter see it changes say ok now the total length of this 100 exit now we have two sketches go to insert feature deform feature now deform type curve to curve because I am going to take reference from curve to curve so let me choose curve here first curve first curve this one for reference second I want to deform this one so select this curve okay uncheck fixed here select uniform now here you have to define the deform radius so let's say minimum radius I am going to define 20 and here select body which body you want to deform so let's say this body now look this is going to follow the path here choose if you want stiffness maximum drag this uh, uh, here one option called uh, sh shape accuracy so keep maximum so that we will get maximum now you will see this end this is not uh, it should not be straight it should be follow the path so here select curve direction now see this is change say ok see now again go to insert feature deform again curve to curve first curve the first one the second curve select this curve from here choose sketch 8 uniform now here let's say 30 millimeter this is the uh, deform radius here choose body to deform again select this one because we created three body here 
but look the shape is not perfectly going so for that you have to come and curve direction now make it maximum and here also choose uh, stiffness maximum so you will uh, get maximum result say okay now all the deformed body we created three body these all bodies deformed by deformed feature now see if i am going to select chrome or this is actually polyester not chrome so if i am going to select color if you want to define clear body choose red color again define the other clear now here choose body now next color let's say the middle one green 64 64 now select the body okay the third one clear body i am applying here rgb color dimensions now click and hide now see how we can how we create a same length of uh, bellows in different shape with the help of deform feature see Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.